Hmm, so this is the mayor's residence, eh? Do you think the mayor's even in today? Oh, being as busy as he is, I'm sure there's a pretty good chance that he's out. God bless my soul if it isn't Estelle and Joshua. Hi, Mayor Claus. I hope we're not disturbing you, sir. But we've come on behalf of the Bracer Guild about a job you requested. Ah, oh, yes, I heard from the Guild that the two of you would be coming. So you're taking over your father's work while he's away, are you? Well, we're trying to, at least. I'm very sorry about my dad reneging on his promise like that. Well, there's no need for apologies, knowing your father's typical for him to be smart with work like this. Anyway, with Alita and my wife out and about, so I'd like to move this conversation somewhere else. We don't want to head up. Why don't we head upstairs to my study and go over the details? Okay. In truth, I don't think you'll find this request particularly difficult. And it's for that reason I think that asking the guild to do this job may have been a bit presumptuous. Unfortunately, I'm unable to get away from my work and I had to break down and ask the guild for help. Well, we were informed that this job involves the transport of a certain something. But what is it exactly that you'd like us to carry and where? I would like you to pick up a septium crystal from uh, the Malcolm Mine and deliver it here. Oh, when you say septium, do you mean like a sepith that we often come across and stuff? Accurately speaking, Sepith, uh, Sepith is fragmented. Uh, Sepith is fragmented septium, which is too small to be used as precious stones. Therefore, the Sepith is refined and pro uh, processed into quartz, which can be installed into orbments. So that's the difference, huh? I think I've got a better grasp on things now. If I remember that, I might. We've actually been able to obtain a certain kind of septium called uh, Asmelis from the Malga Mine since the olden days. Probably where the name of that tower came from. However, since a large piece of crystal was recently discovered, I've asked my mine chief to hold on to it until someone could pick it up. So he'd like us to pick up this crystal uh, from the mine chief and bring it here, is that correct? Precisely. What, uh, what do you think? Is it something you can handle? The transport of a precious gem, huh? That uh, would be a nice change from fighting monsters. Should keep us on our toes, too. Alright, we'll do it. I appreciate your willingness to help. That's the important part, whether you want to or not, not because it's your jobs. Please take this with you too. Mayor's referral. Show you that one of the workers, they shall let you into the mine. Good luck. Okay, I guess I'll head that way. Unbelievable, I came all the way here just to find I wasted all this time for nothing. I can't find any buyers in the shops or bigger cheapskates than I thought they'd be. I guess it's safe to say that backwater places will always be backwater places. Oh my goodness, you people! This lady's really making me angry. And who are you supposed to be? I'm a backwater motherfucking bitch that's gonna slap you at- wait. Then again, I don't really care who you are. I'll give you a deal, so how about you buy something? What? Will one of these, uh, wood carvings work for you? Wood carvings? You won't find worksmanship like this outside the Calvert Republic. Calvert? Sounds familiar. Is that some famous store or something? <laughs> Oh, even I know that. Calvert Republic is the country to the east of the Barrow Kingdom, and I'm pretty sure they're much bigger than us and much more of a military threat. I, I knew that. So Calvert made folk uh, craft items are what? So Calvert made folk craft items are what you're selling, huh? Yeah, I'm sure you'd find a lot more people willing to take them off your hands if you went to the royal city. Ah, uh, you think so too? I really thought uh, some place in the boonies might uh, like this one would be a taker on these, but maybe I was wrong. Danger, danger, anger meeting, anger meter rising. Oh well, I guess I'll try to head to Grand Cell sooner rather than later. Then again, what is my son Charles up to? Charles? Oh, is that the kid we came across? Just when I thought I could get him uh, some help out of him, he up and wanders off. Charles. I mean, isn't that the same kid I helped earlier? Where did he go? Huh. I haven't seen him about since then. Interesting. I'm impressed. This is a much nicer hotel than I uh, anticipated. This name looks familiar. The manager is extremely courteous and the place is relaxed and immaculate. There's another kind of elegance quite different from the luxurious hotels in the royal city. 
da 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 Oh. Oh, no, never mind. Though we came here on a pilgrimage, Roland was a wonderful locale. I think I like this place. Oh, you're not who I thought you might be. Never mind. I could have sworn I saw the name... I thought the name Edo came up in the conversations with them in Coat's Deal, too. As, like, one of his former lost loves. Or whatever. Oh, what a troublesome little kitten. Could you be taking a nap somewhere? Hmm. I don't think Fee's in this game, so don't worry. She's probably not taking a nap anymore. Okay, give me the thingy. Woo! This is the entrance to the Magamon. If you're not here on business, I ask you to leave. Believe it or not, we're actually here on business. Yay! Uh, Roland's Mayor Claus has asked that we come here. Uh, asked that we come here and pick up a certain septium crystal. And explains, well, oh, alright, I've got my friend. It's another story. Don't mean to make your job any more difficult. Will you mind going silent speaking to the boss directly? I'm supposed to stand and watch out here. Sure, that's fine, but why the boss? I'm actually here to see the mine chief. The mine chief you're talking about is actually our boss, Mr. Gadon. He manages the mine and all of its workers. He's actually the kind of guy who enjoys uh, discovering and stepping in load more than eating three meals a day. I'm fairly sure he's working down in lower tunnels today. Thanks for the tip. We'll go see him if we can, uh, we'll go see if we can locate him. Okay. Are there gonna be monsters in here? I hope there's not gonna be monsters in the mine. Uh, though I suppose that's completely possible now, isn't it? Oh my goodness. What are we gonna do here? Check it out, it's a mine cart. I think it's, uh, powered by Orbman Stew. Looks that way to me. How about we get in and see where it takes us? Okay. You gonna go off some rails? Maybe? Possibly? I did just change something. Elevator time, okay? Elevator we're supposed to use to reach the lower tunnels, right? Why doesn't it work? Let me have a look. Ah, it's, uh, there's orbital energy running through it, but it appears to be mechanically locked. Maybe we should uh, ask someone about it. Okay. First, let's change this and see where it takes us. Yep, thought it might. See if there's anything even useful here. Like a treasure. Oh, no, got a person. Grace Ideas, what are you kids doing down here? Are you friends with someone who works here in the mine? Not exactly, we've come to see the mine chief or the rest of the mayor. Oh, so you're here by the crystal, are you? Well, if you're looking for the boss, you should be in the little tunnels below. If you see the elevator in the tracks outside the mine, you can get down there. We found the elevator, but we didn't know how to make it run. Do you know how to operate it? Oh, that's an easy problem to fix. All you need to do is... All you need is a key to activate it. I should tell you this before, shouldn't I? This should have been one of the first things I was thinking about. Since you don't have one of your own, I'll help you out by lending you mine. Please give it back and don't just leave the mine without giving it back. We're totally gonna leave the mine without giving it back. Much appreciated. Once our business here is finished, we'll make sure to return it. I, I wonder if we get more BP if I remember to return it or something. That would actually be pretty funny if you had that sort of a requirement and actually gave extra BP because of it. <laughs> you know what? I, I want that to be true just because... Am I... I, I, I should check. Nope. No minimap. Okay. There was a... Yeah, there was a thing over here. And there's nothing here. Never mind. Time to go. Yep, uh, so I'll try using that key we just borrowed. We should be able to get through the elevator working this time. Yep, looks like we can use the elevator now. How about we go down to the little tunnels? Yep. Hmm. I do like the jazzy soundtrack of this. It's, um, distinct, and it's not pretty... Especially given the, um, style of the game, it's actually pretty... What's the word? Unique? For it to go for this sort of style. With the more limited, uh, sound fonts of the day and age. Wow, that's a great sign, isn't it? Hmm. So don't see any... Ah, uh, there we go. Don't see any enemies, at the very least. Heaven and... Oh, what are two kids like you doing down here in the mine? You're the mine chief, right? Oh, am I glad to see you. We've been searching all over this dank place for you. Ah, oh, trails... Trails in the sky. I was dank before dank with school. We're with the, uh... We're with the Bracer Guild. And we come on uh, today on behalf of Bla uh, Mayor Claus. Eh. 
Hmm, nice Lisa who keeps her braces on her. Yeah, that's quite a feat for being so young. Haha, <laughs> that's not that big of a deal. Well, it was. Remember when it was such a big deal, Estelle? Says the voice in your head. Remember just the other day? By the way, you're supposed to have some sort of crystal for us, right? Alright, give me a second. There's a little baby something you don't see every day. Which is why I've been keeping it as close to myself as possible. Mind Chief pulls a large crystal. Wow. I've never seen a crystal this big before. That is impressive. Seems to be a light swirling round inside, too. Hmm. What does that mean? It's one of several types of septium. Specifically, it's this metalist crystal, which is endowed with the power of winds. Ah, oh, cool. For a gem of this size, you're looking at a pretty hefty price tag. I'm talking about a small fortune here. Make absolutely sure that this gets the mayor. <laughs> Roger that. No pressure. No pressure. It's so beautiful. Joshua, we should just keep this and sell it and just just leave. Just leave and like head to Erebone or some shit, yeah? It feels like I'm carrying a little fairy in my hand. Oh my goodness. This is super fun for some reason. I don't know why, but it totally is. Check this out, Joshua. That's nice and all, but how about you stop horsing around? If you drop it, we could be in some real trouble. Fine, you big killjoy. Still put the crystal away in her pocket. Well, I guess that's that. Look at half your hair now, Mr. Gatan. Don't worry, we'll make sure this gets back to the mayor. Got any kids? Hmm? <gasps> What's the matter? Is there monsters? Is there a reason there's a thing at the beginning? That's odd. Yeah, flow down here suddenly shifted. Oh no. Caven. Airflow. Sense it's. Whoa! Ah! Uh... Crap. Monster? I I is it over? Oh, was that an earthquake just now? No, it seems as though there was a cave in somewhere within the mine. I wonder if one of the miners hit a patch of this ground. Yeah, I'd better check on the extent of the damage. Well, look out, Estelle. What? Monster! Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, crap, people! What do we got here? Ooh, they don't seem weak at the very least. Oh my goodness, they're gonna get a critical! Crap. Unless I can steal the critical. I should steal the critical. I should try to steal the critical. Ooh, that hurt. Ooh, yep. It probably not gonna get me from far away, but. They do 80, I think they did like 80 damage, yeah? Okay, good, miss. Good old miss. Love me some miss. Um, let's see. It's the one moving next. Let's, uh, let's use the, let's use the healing. We got the healing, let's use it. I should probably, if I get a chance, put some healing for him too. 75, no, he probably could live with another attack. Couldn't have been. Couldn't have been. Um. Hmm. No, I got this. I, I think this will work out how I want it to. Dual strike. Like I said before, it feels like every single. Ooh! I was closer than I was. It's closer than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Well, everyone's healed up, so I should be okay. No one should die in just a couple hits at the moment. Hopefully. Seems fine. 
Well, he seems fine, at the very least. Okay. Oh my goodness, every time, it's like this little sliver of health left. It's like, I could, I could, I could take him out, but I can't. But I can't, because damn it. Ah. I was told that I'm probably going to have to cook more than I did in the Cold Steel games, aka period, aka more than 0%, in, uh, just because healing items, especially in hard, are more expensive. So I'm prepared for that inevitability, but I'm not there yet. I haven't... I I'll work on that as I go forward. Why are there? Do you usually have problems with monsters like this? No, this is the first time we've ever had anything like this happen down here. Monsters have predisposition, which uh, attracts them to the glow of septium. So we've had uh, a lot of them wander into the mine in the past, but judging from the situation, it may be that the recent cave-in opened, uh, opened up a hole connected to a den of monsters. Did you say a den of monsters? It's not inconceivable. But this is no time to be standing around thinking about it. Gotta get the other book is out of here. Well, if that's the case, then how about uh, letting us help you out? You're kidding, right? Monster extermination is right up our alley, and besides, every minute counts. You're right. Some extra help. That would be much appreciated. So how many miners are we looking at in total? There should only be about four others working here in the lower tunnels. Got it. Let's go find them. Sorry about that. All right, take these and use them if you need to. Thank you. That would actually be quite useful. Crabby more crabby. Oh. No come any closer. I'm not trying to brag, but I'm all muscle, so I wouldn't make a tasty meal. Me too, I'm not delicious either. This fly would be terrible for a monster's health. Wait, didn't mind Trent? I thought he ditched work. I don't think I I don't think I'm gonna leave that in, but still. I thought that's what they said about him. I thought that's what they said about him. Wait. Oh, no, just weirdness. Yay, weirdness. Go. Three. And a crit. Oh, fuck. Ugh. Of course. Non-ideal, non-ideal. Very, very non-ideal. Okay. Hmm, what do I move next? That's quite a while. This will be more manageable at the very least. And healing duty, Estelle. That is your current job. No, what are you? No! What are you doing, you stupid? Oh my goodness, he's so stupid. Oh my. Oh no. Oh no. I still need to heal more than I need to. Uh, will I move anytime soon? I won't really move anytime. Hmm. No, oh, I need to heal more than I need to do anything else. My goodness, this idiot. The idiot. He's so stupid. So stupid. Run nowhere. <laughs> At least you're sort of going away from him. Hmm. You're safe now, guys. You can go. <laughs> Thank you for coming when you did. Oh man, for a minute there I thought I'd never be able to sit down for another meal again. Oh, this is no time to feel relieved. We need to evacuate this place. Go, go, go. Any more lolly gang, you're going to be sitting in the belly of one of those monsters. Yes, boss. Wait for me. No. Bye bye, Trent. So, this is coming in useful. <laughs> Shocking. It's almost like they put it there for that. Okay, so there's some over here, and there is one other person to the north. Oh, Adios, who all in heaven? Send to us I saving hands. Hey, idiot. You got time to pray to the goddess, how about helping me take care of these creatures? Nah. Let's do it. Crab people. I can't think of anything other than crab people when I see these guys. Sorry. <laughs> Not that it matters that much. There we go. I really like going after the miner that time. Is everyone alright? 
But we are now, thanks to you kids. Speak divine work of Idios. Has to be. Ah, oh, what a religious nut. If it was really the work of the goddess, then she wouldn't have allowed us to get into this mess in the first place. It's because of unbelievers like you that unfortunate accidents like this happen. Oh my goodness, can I hit this guy? How about you try and say that again, buddy? Is this really the time of place for that kind of nonsense? Now get out of here. Right away, boss. You be careful too, boss. Woo! Let's go. Ah, things weren't supposed to go like this. I don't want to die. I haven't even had a girlfriend yet. <laughs> what? So you got another one down here? Better hurry and rescue him. Rest way better. There was one. Oh my. Okay. Well, this rate we can definitely handle it. Ah, there we go. Here's some open too. Death. Okay. Cool. Should be the last one we need to save. Yeah. Oh man, you can't save my skin. Don't worry, you're safe now. And before you ask, no, I won't be your girlfriend. A handful of monsters are no match for the likes of a bracer. D did you say braces? Oh, what are you doing in a place like this? Bah, bah, the suit of my boots, yeah? Oh, you're the new recruit from yesterday. Why not are you digging down here in the lower tunnels? I, um, is open to get a glimpse of how all you veteran miners work down here? Y yeah, that's it. Oh, are you a spy? When suddenly the wall collapsed and where the monsters came from the other side. Hmm. You didn't do it on purpose, did you? So we've got ourselves a veritable nest of monsters now, huh? Looks like you guessed right, kid. So it seems. The area up ahead is dangerous. Swarming with monsters. Anyways, I'm out of here. Yeah, I don't trust that guy. Oh, you look at him run. He must have been really scared. I bet. Hmm. Where are you going? Leave the monster den. Also shouldn't do anything with it. Okay. It certainly doesn't look that safe either. Alright, let's turn back. Wow. Oh, no harm in checking it out, yeah? Find everybody? Yeah, that should be everyone. Alright, let's get out of here ourselves. Woo. Are you alright, boss? I'm sure glad you're safe. Where the training go? Uh, kid in training go. Let's see, we have one, two... I guess we have more people up here than we had down there anyways. By the way, is everyone actually accounted for? Actually... Huh. Yep, everyone's here. Except for the new guy who took off like a bat out of hell. Yep, don't trust that guy. You know, I wonder if... You know what? I'm gonna take a guess at the dark here. Could it possibly be Blue Bonk? Isn't he supposed to be a master of disguise? Hmm. I'm thinking probably not, but that would be the only thing I can even think of at this point. Uh, I hope he doesn't give up on being a miner after this. Anyway, there's a high possibility that there are monsters still in the lower tunnels. So we confirm that it's safe. I don't want anyone using the elevator, you hear me? Actually, it could be Blue Bonk. Especially if they found that septium that's supposedly really beautiful, right? Hmm. I mean, I could imagine a motivation for Blue Bonk himself, yeah? That was a huge miscalculation on my part. I never expected monsters to surface or bracers to show up. I guess I just have to report the truth about everything that happened. Huh. Huh. I apologize for getting involved in more than your fair share of work today. I'll get in touch with the guild, uh, the guild a little later to make sure you two are fairly compensated. Don't sweat it, we just did what anyone would have done in our position. And besides, it's all part of our training to become full-fledged bracers. By the way, what do you intend to do about the lower tunnels? I don't know, but we'll figure it out some, uh, we'll figure out some way to deal with it. It's always the option of stealing out the monster den with some explosives. As a heads up. I may ask the guild for some help if we run into any serious trouble later. Sure, you can count on us. And we'll make sure this crystal gets the mayor as intended. Yeah, you 
You didn't make sure that you didn't drop it, right, Estelle? Hey, how rude. I'm not that careless. Look, it's right. <gasps> no, you didn't. You lost it. <sighs> oh, thank goodness. Psych, I got it right here. I would not have been surprised if she did. That was a great fake out. I never saw it coming. Shoot, shoot, I just got reminded of a meme. Let's go make that delivery, shall we? You are unbelievable. Young lady, those are the kind of words that'll give an old man like me a heart attack. Oh, God, Estelle. Literally, I could imagine someone having a heart attack. My goodness. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to end it there for today. There's still some things I need to go look back on what people said in regards to um, a bunch of the different uh, things that were suggested. And I don't know how much I'm going to be cutting down on this. I'm going to try to go with a uh, session style recording instead of splitting it up. Because I have the longer episodes now for my... Uh, like, And I try to do this for all my series at the moment. Uh, so it might take a little bit for me to get a feel for how much I need to play to get an episode's length. Um, if it's anything like Cold Steel, then it's going to have big patches of me cutting stuff out and big patches of me cutting almost nothing out, so I guess we'll find out over time. Um, if I have to split stuff up, I might split stuff up. I, I might change it over time, but uh, that's what I'm going to try for the near future at the very least. I'm going to check the comments to see if there's other stuff that people told me about that I'm forgetting or haven't uh, delved into yet, and... Um, yeah, I think that's where I'm going to leave it for today. Thank you all for tuning in. See you all next time. Drive safely, everyone. Hello, and welcome back to The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Oh my goodness. You guys have made so many comments. Oh my goodness. I think this might be a record for my channel. Just uh, Okay. People have said a lot of things, and I have at least skimmed everything. At the very least, I've had time to skim everything over the first... Three episodes. This is going to be in the middle of an episode, so hopefully this message gets across to everyone who's watching. But I will go. I will need time to read through all that. But there has been some things uh, I've taken and used. Uh, for example, I forgot that I need to go actually turn in stuff at a point. Yeah. I need to actually report things because that's a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, so many things. Oh my. I, okay. I received information quartz, which sounds like it's a. Um, I think someone talked about that being something particularly good for me to have. And speaking of quartz, I. If you notice, it's a little 40 minutes or so later. I decided to do a little bit of grinding because I wanted to increase my flexibility to actually do stuff. And one. Um, one suggestion I got was um, combining Impede and Evade to get Aerial, which has been quite good. And I'm starting to get a feel for exactly how the system works. I haven't read the Bracer Notebook yet. I haven't even had time to read through everyone's comments entirely. I'm sorry. I, I Sometimes I just need to record this and I don't have time to do everything else in the background. I know I had time to go and do this, but yeah, I, I, I might be contradicting myself a little bit there. Um, but I was more doing this in the background, and I have a good excuse. I promise you it's a good excuse. It's probably a good excuse. But, with that in mind, um... Uh, someone did tell me that it has to do with accounts, and I'm starting to get a feeling... I mean, so we have lines here, and I'm guessing... Basically, this first one is the middle one, and from there you have different lines, which are designated by the colors. And the colors... Basically, this goes into the blue line, and essentially... Because it's on the same line, you have, as you see up there in the corner, you have a number of different stuff on each line. Like, there's four, um, there's four green on this blue line, so I get aerial, which is a result of, as you see on there, the times four. And in the same vein, on Joshua, I set up this so I have these, so this has a bunch of different, um, I forget if it's time, the time ones. So with three time ones, I was able to get this Antisept, which temporarily prevents casting of arts debilitate, which I don't 
I don't really remember being a, uh, an ability in Cold Steel, at the very least. If there... Maybe it was named something different if there was. It does say Mute. I don't remember... I don't really remember many abilities that directly applied statuses. It's mainly crafts and stuff that had as a secondary effect. Or... Yeah, mainly crafts, I think. Hmm. Oh, and... Also... Just like a percentage chance of applying them on general attacks and whatnot. Which was a pretty cool way of doing it. But, um... Yeah, so I've gotten a few ones off of that. I'm guessing the Bracer Notebook has more detailed, uh... Knowledge of precisely what gets me what. And it's interesting because the lines on this, as much as they did not matter in the slightest in the, um, the Cold Steel games, it actually makes a sort of, it makes sense why they were a thing. And they actually vary between people. Because it never made sense to me before as to why they varied between people. And having different setups means you can set up different things for different lengths. And like Joshua having, having a really short one and a really long one. That sort of thing. Yeah, but like I'm, um, I said, I've been working towards opening up slots because without slots, it feels like I have no ability to actually strategize and stuff. And Estelle has like 250 level ones. Like, I'm guessing it's how far down the line it is is based on its expenses, uh, how expensive it is. Because like this one was 30, uh, this one was definitely 30. I'm pretty sure this one and this one are also 30. While Joshua's, because he only has, because he's a long one, the next one I can open up. Uh, because I've actually opened up one more on him than uh, Estelle down the line. So the fourth one was 80. And it wasn't too bad um, grinding up for Sepeth to get those, at the very least. Um, and I guess I should also mention this now. Um, I, I do plan to finish this on hard. Um, I will use this game's experience to decide if for a second chapter, and I guess I'll decide even later on with second chapter's experience, whether I want to take the chance of playing hard on that as well. I'm guessing Nightmare would just be frustrating no matter what, so I'm probably not going to even consider that at any point, at the very least. Um, so with that in mind, we are back and we are... Um, I'm not sure if this is going to advance time, so I think I'm going to try to go do the other quest I have first. Hmm, something else uh, worth mentioning. I did go up a level, and Estelle did get this Hurricane Craft. Which is a lot like Laura's uh, spinning one in uh, the other game. Yeah, it just hits everyone. It seems to miss a lot, so I'm not really inclined on using it a bunch. Just because it really seems like it misses a lot. Ariel! Go! It has a really long animation for some reason. It really does have a sort of long animation. Because the camera just pans up and it's like, what? Why? And whatever. What happens, happens, I guess. It, uh, at some point, it is really just that. Okay, here's the forest again. Ooh, do, do, do. Didn't even see that guy this time. Crap. Oh, while I'm back here dying horribly, I should mention that I noticed this person. Wow, how cute is this? He looks like someone from the opening. Yep. Okay, now that I'm alive again and not fucking up, let's go not fuck up even more by trying it again. Mr. Wall, eh? Ooh, not even a map. Okay. Well, okay. That's unfortunate. It's quite unfortunate. Ooh, that experience amount just came right up. Okay, I wasn't actually in the forest before, I suppose. Ooh, experience amount really went up. Hmm, interesting at least. What are, are these mines? They look like mines. Uh, I do not know what to make of these at the moment. <laughs> oh no, they have at delay in this? Oh my goodness. Well, I mean, he got delayed, but he still ended up moving the same turn. Even if I keep missing. Because I'm almost out of damn e. Damn it. Ah. 
I know I probably have to hit it with this, but... I get, yeah, I was thinking, like, I gotta hit it at some point. Is it really delaying me? It says it's delaying me, but... I stay in the same place in the turn order and stuff. They're not, not hurting me that much at the moment. Hmm. Either way, the EXP increase for this is huge. I should be able to get to the next level and get my EP back to 100% uh, relatively soon at this rate. Hmm, so I just want to test something. So do I? Mm, I get to keep all my CP if I'm in a bad situation to start a battle. Okay, okay, cool. Cool, that's good to know. It's very good to know. Can I win? Off. Okay, I lose my status at that point, but... Damn. Oh, uh, well. Still need... Okay. Okay. Well, I I'm not quite at a level to take on this place. Well, maybe I am, but it'd be pushing it big time. Especially if I have to take out, like... Especially since I seem to be struggling just a little bit against the typical enemy here. Whoa, okay, I remember these things. Wait, why are they attacking me? Why am I getting attacked by... What is that? Whoa, shining what now? What is even happening? Um, I definitely have not run into one of these before, not in this game. Shining, though. These are supposed to be like... The... Uh... Series? Matt? Okay, bye-bye. Ooh. <laughs> They're just gonna keep fleeing. Nope, not a chance. What a waste of time. Ah, I'm supposed to do some sort of training exercise here? It's like standing here today, but travelers are incredibly sparse. Man, I'm so bored. With all this free time, I've started trying to find shapes in the clouds that I pass by. I wish I could look up at the sky. You're lucky, man. You're lucky. Checkpoint here almost gets no travelers, and it's quiet. All I can hear is the uh, babbling of the river and chirping of the, uh, chirping song of the birds. This is way more relaxing than the farm where I uh, worked before. <laughs> okay. Who do I talk to? In here, maybe? Mm, I visit Estelle. And Joshua, too. Hello, Mr. Ashton. It's been a while since we last met. Yes, it has. I've heard my boy Luke caused you a lot of trouble, did he? Luke, Luke, Luke. Um... Oh, that kid. I'm absolutely ashamed as a father. Yeah, how dare you? How dare you let your child have fun and personalities? Mm. I'm sure it's perfectly normal for an, uh, a boy his age to be naughty like that. I mean, even I ran around outside uh, of town when I was young. Yeah, and you're supposed to be a girl. Are you sure you're a girl? <laughs> you're certainly full of energy as usual. I'd love to get you to share some of that vigor with my new recruits. I've been thinking recently about doing a simulated battle to whip my men into shape. So I put in request for the, to the guild for a few good men or women to play the part of the enemy soldiers. I think the pair of you would be the perfect for the, uh, fit for the job. So how about it? Can you do this for me? Yeah, sure. Sure, we'll do it. Better win, though. We'll gladly accept. Thanks, I really appreciate this. Go ahead and take a break until the preparations are ready. If I don't have you in tip-top condition, there's no point in doing the training at all. Oh, cool. Haha, <laughs> then I'm ready for an afternoon nap. Alright then, we'll get ourselves ready. Sure, please do what you need to. Grinding up some CP? We got our CP to full, right? I mean, that would be perfect, right? Two on two? Oh, I can do this. Alright, training begins now. Everyone advance five steps forward. One, two, three, four, five. Ready yourself. 
And... And I was bored before, but... I know it's just draining and all, but... It still scares the living daylights out of me. This is a draining exercise, so please refrain from speaking. You all need to take this seriously, as if it were a real battle. Oh, I will. So, Joshua, you don't need to hold back against my men. <laughs> that was my intention from the beginning. Well, do as you request. <laughs> Forward! Lose! We're gonna win this. We're gonna kick them. Motherfucking asses. Ooh. <laughs> How are these soldiers? They're like as weak as the typical person fighting. Oh, uh, well, whatever. Let's see. You think they'll move forward? They might move forward. Hmm. In between when I set this up and cast it. Hmm, chances they'll move into it, if anything. Uh, if I keep that there, and I lure them a little bit by basically... Yeah. Let's lure them in there. No. What do you mean? No. Okay, thank goodness. At least one of them took the bait. Is that blind? Yeah, that's blind. I remember that logo. Or uh, icon. Damn it. Ah. That makes this trickier. And blind is gone like that. Man, that was quick. I'll give him that crit. Uh, and now he moves in. Oh, thank you so much. And a miss. And a miss. I'll just throw out Ariel again at this rate. Um, might be a good one to use. Uh, I have not hit this one. And that should be game. Well, assuming they aren't stronger than I uh, expect of them. Ow. That actually took it pretty well. Cease fighting, cease fighting, my goodness. This training is over. Ah, 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 ah. Oh my goodness, it's finally over. I just want to go shit myself a little bit. Good job, everyone. Well, on our side at least. Can I say pathetic? It was sort of pathetic. Are you guys really supposed to be soldiers? Hey, you be quiet. We're not all feral kids like you. What, you don't even have a military academy here in the barrel? My goodness, we're all like- we're, I'm like level 9 or something, and I just got there, and you can't even beat me as a soldier? Ha. Ah. <laughs> How about you try and say that one more time? Knock it off, Scott. Training is over. <laughs> you seriously need to cool down too, Estelle. I hate sore losers. She's just a little hypocrite, ain't she? Private Scott, Private Harold. I think what Estelle said just a moment ago is how citizens of this region really feel. Well. Uh, I don't... I can I honestly say that Estelle probably is an outlier in terms of... experiences at the very least. We really have what it takes to protect them. I mean, that's not untrue, but... It seems as though the both of you need to take another look in the mirror. Uh, yes, sir. Very good. Do not forget what you learned today and strive to fulfill your duties. Estelle and Joshua, thanks for your hard work today. Thanks to you, I think my soldiers have gotten the wake-up call they needed. So basically, you knew they were pretty not great. Well, there's no need to thank us. It's uh, us who should be thanking you for the job and money. It was uh, excellent training, too. I agree. This was a good learning experience. <laughs> if you think so, then you're set for life as bracers. Though our positions may be different, we are both here to serve the public. Although I can't do much else, I'll pray for the success uh, of both of you. Sure, and thanks again. And take care of yourself. I will, and I hope to be seeing you again sometime. You know, when you pass through the gate at some point? I'm sure you will. Soldier training complete. Cool. Adios. Hey, we see each other again. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you're saying... I didn't think you'd just repeat yourself again. Hey, I like that ass whooping. 
I hate being bored like this, but training is even worse. My body seriously aches all over. <laughs> Where's Harold? Come on, Harold. Get your just desserts. Checkpoint here goes on. That's fine. Okay. Well, if not for that training, this place would have been more placid than the farm. <laughs> I can see why you're uh, stationed out here at the very least. My, oh my, what a secure gate. I can walk around here. <laughs> my goodness. Who thought this was a good idea? Oh yeah, I should mention, I did find two chests out here when I was grinding up for stuff. Basically, the messages were, there's nothing in here, shocking, and there's nothing in here, surprising. Yeah. I feel as though they're already starting to run out of ideas. <laughs> I can sort of see why arts are considered uh, really powerful in this. Because you can attack anywhere on the field, even though you have the delay. And the movement in this feels so much more restricted than it did in a, in a Cold Steel, at the very least. Oh, for example, chest is empty. Surprised. And the other one was, uh, the other one was shocked. Those are all the ones I got in between episodes. Well... In the middle of an episode because of how this is going to be- Oh, I'm... I'm making this confusing, aren't I? And we're... Back. Cool. 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 Eighth class. Yep, can do. While we're here... I can open one of these... Probably the longer one? Seems like it would make more sense at the very least. Well, at the moment it would make more sense. Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Logically. Yeah, I'll open this one for now. I have an idea how I want to set this up. Basically, I want to use that line as the, uh, entirely as the, uh, air one. Basically. Because that'll make sure I keep it. And I can throw on... Well, that gives me a lot of options, doesn't it? Damn, it really does. Lightning? Why lightning? Okay, what does lightning do? A line and two of those. Okay. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Information, I'm not quite at the point that I feel as though I will need to put this on anyone at this point. It would be an interesting one at the very least to build up over time. Lightning. So it's a... Hmm. So it's a line-based one. And it has seal. Yeah, that reminds me of some of the ones in a Cold Steel. I'm not sure if any of them were straight called lightning, but there's definitely some that work like that. Red of the light, the darker the shadow becomes. When one's soul is touched by the blinding of light, it becomes conscious of the darkness within and embraces a contrite spirit. Especially those who are tormented by sins of their past. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. However, through this ordeal, one can understand the pain and suffering of others and reach a greater plane of insight. What is important for individuals is, to, is preparing for the future and deciding what one wants to do. Ah, uh, just listening, it makes my brain hurt. Father Divine's sermons are always difficult for me to understand. Why do we call him Father Divine? That seems like an oxymoron, almost. So I was told that there are, um, hidden quests. I don't know if there are hidden quests yet, I just know that there's still hidden quests in this game. Um, I'm probably not going to a bend bar. Huh. Huh. A bend time! Woo! Connection? Maybe not. Maybe. I don't know. I'm probably not going to go out of my way to look for, like, uh, in the Cold Steel games, I'm not going to go out of my way to look for hidden quests, but if there's something really interesting, I should keep my eye out for coming, well, coming up. I probably won't be recording too much ahead for this, especially since I'm able to, uh, once I get a feel for how much an episode is, I'll probably be no more than an episode two ahead. Um, so if there is hidden quests that you think w I would enjoy or you'd like to see me do, just give me a heads up, because I'm not going to be looking up uh, guides for that, and I'm not going to be looking in every nook and cranny just in hope that I'll find something. Ten years ago, the Imperial Army broke through the borders and surrounded Roland. Hmm. This is the, uh, Hundred Years' War I keep hearing about. 
between Erebonia and Libero. And in an effort to convince us to surrender, they bombarded the clock tower. Hmm. Okay. I I apologize for I apologize for making you recall those painful memories. Ten years ago. Okay. Joshua's been here for five, right? Hmm. It is quite a big gap for them to be related. No, it's all right, really. Oh. Okay, I can guess. I'm guessing that must. I mean, you sort of just brought it out of the, up out of the blue, didn't you, Mister? Who are you, Paddington? Paddington Bear here brought it up out of the blue. I'm guessing maybe I, there isn't a mother around at the very least. That might explain it. Huh? Yeah, you wouldn't have been around, would have you? Uh, ooh. Do, do, do. Oh, you're the other person in the opening that's with that girl that looks like she's in the shop, and I'm pretty sure has to do with like this newspaper thing. Yeah. Ah, oh, man, I'm starving. Well. Oh. That was a nice conversation. Yeah, I should grab this. And a lend it. Uh, I have to learn how to do all that at some point. Huh, I don't want to, though. I have so much beast flesh, though. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. Mr. Murano, um... I don't think we have time to be looking for new human resources. Wait, what? I've been here that Roland has quite a few skilled bracers. Hello. I even heard that the newest two recruits are promising as well. Not only does the city have a wealth of natural resources, but also is blessed with uh, human resources. I wonder if the mayor of Bosai would be happy if I scouted some new people commodities. Whatever, this, whatever might you mean by that, miss? I think, miss. The hat looks feminine at the very least. Hello, and... Hmm. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, was she the one I talked to earlier? A girl in uniform. Hmm. We definitely have been fucking around with this crystal in our possession. We definitely have not been messing around. I see. I would never imagine that the clock tower had such an uh, anecdote to go along with it. I'm totally blown away after hearing that. Okay. With a wall, it's easy to speak of tragedy. Oh, boy. But I think what's important is the strength to overcome the pain and establish peace. Well, who do we have here? Hi. We've come to deliver the object you requested. Um, did we catch you in the middle of something? Maybe we should knock. Oh, so Joshua, you're no trouble at all. In fact, you've come at a good time. Let me introduce you to my guest. Mrs. Josettes. She's a student at the Janice Royal Academy. The Janice Royal Academy? I've heard of it before. It's a boarding school for higher education in the Ruan region, right? Higher education... high school level? Because I know this is a Sunday school society, so... It's also still pretty unclear exactly when they get out of that, because you did have Reen and them getting out of Sunday school and going to specialized high schools, basically. The military school. You also had, uh, in the capital, there was the, um, musical school. You had a political school, too. Um... We had the, um, you had the school that, um, St. Estrella offer. I'm not really sure what that focused on. It seemed like it was just, like, exclusively for females, but, hmm. Yes, that's right. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is, uh, jo Josette Har. Har, har, har. I'm Estelle. Nice to meet you, Josette. You can call me Joshua. I'm the only one of, I am, I'm Joshua, the one with the normal name here. The two of them are actually braces. I'd ask them to do a personal job for me. Bracers? Oh, you mean the proud knights of freedom who love peace above all else and do not succumb to any power? Yes, that is exactly what it is. Keep thinking that, keep thinking that. I'm now thinking of Sarah. Ooh. Ooh, yep. I would definitely describe a bracer like that. This is such an inspiring moment. I never thought I'd run into any real bracers. The inspiring part sounds a, a little much. By the by, uh, is it alright like if, uh, if I just call you Josette? Yes, please do. Ah, oh, good, I don't have to use honorifics. That would be really awkward in this, uh, game. So, why do you, uh, why did you come to Roland? Are you a friend of the mayor's? No, today's actually the first time we've ever met. I'm researching the important cultural assets of each region as part of my independent studies. And although I might be busy, I've been lucky enough to get an audience with the mayor. Oh, he might be busy. You're really serious about your studies, aren't you? 
Maybe you were uh, intruding a bit, huh? No, I've already asked the mayor enough questions. Instead, maybe it is I who am in the way. No, be silly. It's not like that at all. No one's in the way. We can all be one big happy family. But still, this is a great opportunity. So how about showing her what you've brought with you? Uh, sure. Hold on a second. Shiny. Oh my word, that's septium, right? What a wonderful glow it gives off. Yes, and its size is, uh, is impressive too. This is indeed a gift worthy of expressing the appreciation of all Roland's citizens. Isn't this worth a lot? You're not- you're giving it to her? Oh, she's gonna have a target on her back. Especially with that one guy. That one guy in the mine. A gift? Worthy of expressing our appreciation. Yeah, I see. So this is a gift for the Queen's anniversary. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. It makes a whole lot more sense than just giving it to some random student who came to the uh, came to the town for studies. Go shop, Joshua. I intend to send an engraved ornament using this to uh, using this to the Queen as a token of the Roland citizens' appreciation to Her Majesty, who will be turning sixty years old. I'm sure she'll be, I'm sure have great use of it. So it's a present for the Queen. Hmm. How delightful. Well, as citizens of the Bell, oh, um, we as citizens of the Bell owe Her Majesty a great debt for all she's done for us. In fact, the reason why we can use an airliner with such ease is because of the support of the Royal Family. Yeah, I even heard that the Bracer Guild in Libero has received support from the Royal Family. We do owe her a great debt of gratitude. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Man, I should have paid attention in class. Maybe I would have known this stuff. And he, can you believe it, Joshua? We carried a present for the Queen with these very hands. And what's more, you ran around with it in those hands like a wild maniac. Uh, you weren't supposed to tell anyone. Ha 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 Don't do it again. I wouldn't have imagined anything less from you, Estelle. Many senses anyway. Uh, you guys. Here you go, Mayor Claus. It's been faithfully delivered. Thank you very much. As a matter of precaution. Big old safe. Well, they're making a big deal about putting it in there. There's no way no one, someone's not going to go after it at this point. Okay, it'll be safe in there. Now all, now all that's left is to have Melda's Oval Factory finish up the engraving on the swordment. Can't wait to see what it'll look like when it's done. Don't hog it all to yourself when you do. Let me see it too when it's finished, okay? It's too bad I won't be here to see it for myself. But today I was lucky enough to speak to the mayor and see something as beautiful as that. How should I ever? How shall I ever fa uh, thank you? Don't mention it. It's all part of my job as a mayor. Thank you for everything. But I think it's time for me to say goodbye. I think we should be going ourselves. Agreed. Have a nice day, Mayor Claus. Yourselves as well. So, you're heading home tomorrow on the airliner, are you? Yep, that's right. School's about to begin. I see. So you use your school vacation time to come here. Well, that's too bad. We could have made great friends. Well, I hope we can meet again sometime. Well, you have a face portrait, so I'm pretty sure we will. If this is the only thing you have in the game, and then my goodness, that would be surprising. There's nothing I would like more. Please have a wonderful day, Estelle. Joshua. See ya. Get a good education. Don't be like these bums. What a nice girl. She's so educated, too. For someone, uh, for looking like someone from a rich family, she wasn't snooty at all. Yeah. Um, Joshua? Oh, cool. Oh, could I be correct, uh, correct in assuming that she's your type? What? Oh, no, no, oh, what are you talking about? You're blushing. I'm really surprised. I had no idea you're into the rich girl type. Okay, is that how we will describe her from now on? Okay. We'll have to get some pickup lines ready for the next time you meet. Uh, quit getting... Just quit getting all excited about nothing, please. Especially when you have no idea what others are thinking. Huh? Just never mind. Anyway, let's just report to the guild. Next job we're doing for Dad will be the last one. Oh, oh right. <laughs> Alright, let's get Pump and knock this last one out. Okay, can do. 
Report, report, report. Good work. It looks like you ran into a bit of trouble with the mine, though, huh? Um, how do you know? I got a call from the mine. They said they were incredibly grateful to the both of you. Now, how about you give me a report of what happened? Okay, then. This is what happened. Okay. Woo. No pluses. Okay. Current rank is Junior Bracer 8th Class. Okay. Very nice. It looks like you did much more than anyone is expecting from you. Dealing with unexpected accidents is also part of our mission as Bracers. I hope to see more great things from you in the future. Woohoo! You just leave that to us. Oh, you don't have to worry about Estelle missing anything since her nose is always in everything. Yeah, what he said. Hey, what are you saying that I are you saying that I'm super noisy, uh, nosy like that? Because you are. Your skills lie in your skill. Your skills lie in being direct, nosy, and naive, right? Isn't that being a bit harsh, Joshua? Are you sure about that? All right, that's enough, you two. Okay, this is the last of the jobs you'll be doing for Cassius. You've heard of the the Barrel News, right? You'll be cooperating with them to get some coverage for a news story. Oh, isn't that the name of the news magazine we bought the other day? What are the chances of that happening? Well, when you say cooperating with them to get some coverage, just what exactly does that entail? It seems as though they're looking for a skilled guide because they want to get some shots of a dangerous place. You'll need to ask uh, the reporters directly for details. The reporter and camera woman uh, are from the news service are staying at Hotel uh, Roland. Here's a referral from the guild. Okay. All right. How about we get over to the hotel and talk to those people? Good idea. Let's go. Okay, I'm guessing it's the people I ran into before. No, but you're here now. Well, good afternoon, Estelle and Joshua. Do you, uh, any chance come for a visit? Would you like a spot of tea? Oh, sure, yeah. Wait. No, yeah. I would. I would. I've never... Tr <laughs> Why must you tease me so? Actually, where are they? I thought they were there. Uh, I thought they were at the hotel. Hey, where are they? Uh, Vern, I was wondering if you could, uh, if I could ask you something. Is it true that the people from the magazine company are staying here? Well, you're certainly right about that. Do you have some business with them? Actually, we're here representing the guild to cooperate with them on, uh, getting a story. Really? Is that so? And I forget to inform you that the both of them are out at the moment. Uh, well, do you know where they went? A reporter fellow said something about heading over to the bar. How about you try asking there? Bar? Okay, got it. Thanks. We appreciate the help. Okay. I'm guessing the other one is in the store still? I'd be surprised if... Well, she might have moved since then. The Orbal Factory. Yep. And I can't do anything. It's gotta be her, yeah? I remember them being in the opening. And they look like they're working on, like, some newspaper thing. Photographer and... Yeah. Uh-huh. I am right. I am so right. I... Huh. Who are you kids supposed to be? Are you perhaps the reporter from the Barrel News? That's right, but... How do you know that? I like getting on the scoop, uh, the scoop on things, but I hate it when people try and pry into my life. What business do you have with me? We're here representing the Bracer Guild. We were told that you had a request as an escort. Oh, so you found the game. So, have you? I've been waiting forever for you guys to show up. So, um... Where's, uh, Gazzy's Bright? Um, well, the thing is, he had another job come up, so he's not even here in Roland. Uh, what? I came all the way here so I could get a story on his, uh, famous bracer. Crap, what a waste this trip turned out to be. Oh, I don't get what you're so disappointed about. There's no need to get your boxers in a bunch. We've got you covered. I guess I don't have much of a choice. You'll have to do. Uh, wait, what did you say? Um, don't get your boxers into a bunch? No, we've got you covered, Pot. What do you mean by that? Uh, it's just like Joshua said, we're your representative bracers. Oh, and here's our referral. Hey, oh, wait, this has to be some kind of bad joke. Are you trying to tell me that you little brats are braces? <laughs> brats? Is that how you're supposed to address a lady? What do you mean, lady? There's nothing sexy about you in that outfit. If you don't like my assessment, how about slipping into a skirt and acting like all the other girls your age? Oh, this is not going to end well. It's, 
clothing is specifically designed for those who wield a staff. And this looks like a skirt too. Are you fucking blind? I will, cr I will hit you with my staff so hard. You're such a rude old man. Ugh. We all an old man. I'm still in my 20s, damn it. I gotta be honest, you look like you're in your 40s. Getting back to the business, sir. The fact is that we were dispatched by the guild. I'd be more than happy to introduce you to someone else, but I don't know when they'll be free. Ah, can't extend the deadlines any longer. Guess I got no other alternative. Alright, rejoice, kids. I'm going to leave this up to you. What a generous old man you are. Easy, Estelle. Easy. Easy. Don't make me get the newspaper. I'm Joshua, and this here is Estelle. And you are? I'm Neal Burns, ace reporter for the, uh, the Barrel News. Though we won't be working long together, I do hope you'll enjoy it. I hope you'll do a good job. Hmm. I'll be grateful when this is all over, too. By the way, where... Where is it exactly that you want us to guide you to? The way I see it, you need a trusty guide because you're headed somewhere dangerous, right? Right, my destination is Esmelistawa. I'm sure you've heard of it before. Ah, uh, that's it. <laughs> not only have we heard of it, but we uh, went on there on a job not too long ago. Well, this may just work out after all, then. So, what I really want you to do is guide us over to the tower roof. I want to get a picture for the magazine. Well, aren't you the... Uh, well, aren't you just a thrill-seeker? By us, you mean that someone else is going to come along, too. Yeah, I've got a camera woman with me. She said something about uh, or, uh, her oval camera not working right, so she took off to the oval factory. But uh, she should have been back by now. So, uh, if you're in a hurry, then wouldn't it be a good idea to head over there now? No doubt you're going to take off to get your story once you meet up with your partner, right? Yeah, that's true. Alright, then let's head straight over to the tower once we... Pick my partner up from the Oba factory. Hmm. Can do. And I have three people. Damn. Weird. It's weird. Yep, and she is here. Wait, anything but that? No. I'll do anything you ask. Just please give me back my camera. It's worth more to me than my life. Well, this is a problem. What should I do about this, Dad? You're the one who took the job, so you're the one who has to deal with it. Oh, great. Hmm, what's all the fuss about? Could this person be? That's uh, alright. Hey, Dorothy, how long are you going to keep me waiting? Meow. Oh, you came just at the right time. Please help me out here. What did you do this time? You didn't waste all your money, so now you don't have enough repairs, did you? Ah, uh, that's amazing. How did you guess? It's never happened before, right? Are you like a clairvoyance or something? When you do the same damn thing that many times, even an idiot would know what's going on. So, you know this person. I'm sorry to ask this, but can I get you to pay for the repair costs? I'm but I... I'll need to write you it off. Um, I'll need you to write it off as a business expense. How much? Let's see. The decorative clock and the repairs together are 2,000 mira. Hey, I got enough money to pay for it if you really need it. Decorative clock? Oh my goodness, just give the clock back. Hold on. I can understand the repairs, but what's this with the decorative clock? Well, I was looking around the store while I was doing the repairs, and... I saw a pretty clock. When I picked it up, it broke. Okay, you can't give it back. Interesting. But I'm glad we can write it off as a business expense. How wonderful is that? Is that... That kind of amount is not going to be covered. Ah, ugh, looks like I'm going to have to pay this out of my own pocket and get my money back later. Here's a 2,000 mira. And this is your receipt. Damn, off to a good start. This is an unbelievably awkward combination if I've ever seen one. Yeah, no doubt about that. But the fact that he'll pay out of his pocket for someone means he's prob uh, probably pretty nice to work under. Yeah, that would make sense at the very least. Okay, so I had to keep you waiting, kids. I had to take care of a little trouble, and you might know exactly what. Where are these kids, Neil? Now the Brazers who will be acting as our escorts and guides. I'll be taking the place of Cassius Bride, with whom we'd originally made arrangements. These young kids are... I'm Estelle, nice to meet you. And I'm Joshua. It's Estelle and Joshua, then, is it? You may be young, but you seem reliable. 
I'm Dorothy uh, Hiat. I am the new camera woman for the Barrel News. The new one. Experienced and new. Okay. At the moment, I'm training under Neo. Why'd I get stuck babysitting this blockhead of a girl? Damn, editor in chief. Relax, relax. Something good will come out of all this soon enough. I'm sure. Maybe. Possibly. Y'all want the dog? Oh, come on, just forget it. <sighs> Not that way. Now we got everyone together, how about we just go and get our story? Our destination is these Melis Tower, right? Alright, let's go. Right on. Radio. Oh, my goodness. Ah! Well, this is probably a good place to end it for today. I wonder if I could take them in a different direction and they wouldn't complain and just follow me. I wonder if they can get hit and activate a surprise battle. That would be annoying. That would be very annoying. Oh yeah, people also told me that the self-destructing enemies are normal in this, so I'm gonna... <laughs> that's gonna grind my gears. I know it. I just know the sort of thing that's gonna grind my gears, and that's gonna be one of them. Okay, well, I'm still getting a feel for how long I need to record to get a good episode's length, so... Um, hopefully this fills out the rest of the last one well enough. So, I'll see you all next time. Drive safely, everyone.